Hey, good morning. Well, today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. Coming up, we're speaking with survivors and telling you about the Butterfly Project. That's all coming up in the Fox 5 Morning News. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. Our own Heather Ford live in Carmel Valley at the San Diego Jewish Academy where they are honoring survivors. Heather, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. So it is Holocaust Remembrance Day, known as Yom HaShoah, and there's a lot of things that are going on here at the school to remember survivors. This morning, we're going to get to talk to some survivors right away here, so I want to go ahead and introduce them both to you on our Fox 5 Morning Show. We've got Manya and Mike. Good morning to good both morning. of you. Good morning. So I want to talk a little bit about your stories, because you both just have amazing stories of survival, and it must be so interesting today for you both to be on this school and on this campus and educate some of the students here. First, Manya, I want to talk to you because we were uh, explaining before you were saying it was really interesting I actually w survived in a forest for 18 months with my family could you tell me a little bit about it that's correct I was born in Poland and when the Nazis uh, came into Poland their goal was to distinguish the Jewish people and uh, the first atrocity happened on Yom Kippur, where they took away all the people from the city. We escaped that night, and we were hiding for about a week, and then we came back to the city. And within a short time, they took away all the elderly people and the uh, males, and they took him into concentration camps and working camps. And the uh, moms and children, they remained in the ghetto. And we were in the ghetto over a year hiding there and living under horrible conditions. There was no food. People were dying of hunger, of different sicknesses. And after a, a year or so, they made Judenfrei, what it is called, free of Jews, and they took away most of the people. We did escape. We were hiding in, in the house where we were in the ghetto, and at night we escaped my mom and two sisters, and we went to a village, and over there we were hiding. We did not know where my dad was because they took him into a concentration labor right. camp. You said um, before you also escaped. You live in a forest for 18 months. Do you remember the, these moments? Do you remember what you were wearing, how you had to wear the same clothes for 18 months? How, what, do you remember trying to find food? I do remember very much. You know, I, my mom and my sister and my dad, on the end we found my dad in the village, and we were hiding in different places, in cemeteries and forests. And, and we were you scared? Of course, we were scared and we were crying. We had the clothing on us, what we left when we were, when we escaped the ghetto. And during the 18 months, we, we never had a, a chance to take a bed. Wow. The food, what the animals were eating, my dad used to get out at night because we, we, had, he, we had to hide that nobody knew that we Amazing. are. It is amazing that you two are both standing here with me today. I wish we had hours to speak with both of you. What's interesting is both of you are Holocaust survivors, both from different countries, but you both met and are married 55 years now today. What's that like for you, Mike? To be married for 55 years, <laughs> it's great. Well, to, and to have ran into someone who has such a similar uh, history and, and these memories as you do yourself. Yeah, we met in Budapest, uh, in Hungary, where I was born. and. Uh, my story is not as bad as uh, as hers, but at the at the, at the same time, I also lost my parents. They they were both taken into concentration camp. I was only ten years old, and I survived in the ghetto. I lived wow. in the ghetto with my sister. But more importantly, before we go, I want to know from both of you, and specifically Mike, uh, being able to teach today's generation about the history and about what you went through, how important is that for you? Well, it's very important because uh, history can repeat itself, and by knowing what happened, hopefully it's not going to happen again. Okay, well, before we go, Raul, I want you to meet one of our, uh, our students here. We've got little Caleb with us. Caleb, you got to meet these two survivors this morning. You're standing in front of the Butterfly Project, which is uh, a project to represent the 1.5 million children who were lost in the Holocaust. What is this like for you today? Um, it's very emotional and just sad to hear the stories of how they had to go through this. It's also good that they're teaching people about it so that it doesn't repeat itself, and it's part of Jewish history. Very I mean, well spoken, Caleb. Thank you so much. Raul, well, coming up, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the documentary that's being done on the Butterfly Project, and we'll have that all coming up in our next hour. All right. Heather Ford, thank you very much.